A congenital cardiac defect is a condition of the heart that develops before an infant is born. As a respiratory therapist or medical professional, there are a few that you need to be familiar with, and that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What are congenital cardiac defects? Again, congenital cardiac defects are abnormalities of the heart that occur before birth. According to the CDC, about one in four babies are born with a heart defect, which means that they are the most common type of birth defect in newborns. These types of defects affect the structure and or functionality of the heart. Some examples include undeveloped heart muscles or even a tiny hole in the heart. Each defect can vary in severity. But now we should mention some of the different types. These are some of the most common examples. Tetralogy of Fallot, transposition of the great arteries, aortic valve stenosis, coarctation of the aorta, Epstein anomaly, patent ductus arteriosus, pulmonary valve stenosis, atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, tricuspid atresia, truncus arteriosus, pulmonary atresia, single ventricle defect, and total anomalous pulmonary venous return. Again, each type varies in severity and each type requires different treatment methods. For example, some of the more serious heart defects may require surgery, while others can be treated without a surgical procedure. Some defects can be fully repaired and unfortunately, some cannot. We're going to be breaking them all down into more detail individually in separate videos. This one was meant to cover the medical definition and provide you with a quick overview of this topic. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.